hey, I want to try to explain what we did with Coulomb's law today. One of the key things of Coulomb's law is we have some charged object, for example, this piece of glass rod that I rub with the silk, so I'm going to charge it positive. And I know if I bring another glass rod that's been rubbed with the silk, that they both are the same charge. So it's, they are now going to repel each other. So I can see this repulsion between the two. What I want to know as Coulomb is how much repulsion, what are the things that affect it? One, I noticed that before I can get any kind of repulsion between these two things, I have to get them relatively close to each other. So the farther away they are, there's not a whole lot of repulsion. It's slowly getting repelled, but not very much. We saw this with the electric field hockey activity. You get that charge closer and closer and closer to the puck, it pushes with more force. The other thing, if I were to take two glass rods and charge them up and bring them close to my charged object, I actually find that I get twice as much repulsion between these as opposed to just having one of these charges coming nearby. So what Coulomb noticed is the amount of charge affected the amount of force. It was a direct relationship, and the distance was an inverse relationship. So as distance got smaller or distance got bigger, the force would do the opposite. And those were key parts of his equation, which we eventually have over here. The other part that is important is how do I quantify that charge? I don't have a way of saying, oh, I rub the, the glass with the silk for five seconds, and therefore it's a charge of five second rubs. I don't know what that is. So he came up with a kind of ingenious way. What I have here is just a metal sphere on top of an insulating base. Right now, it is totally neutral. I can touch it to my hand. I can touch it to the sink. I can physically touch it to the ground. And that means it's neutral. It has no charge. So if I take that and I take my glass rod that I rub against the silk, if I rub this together, I know I charge this up. I can physically touch this object. And now this has a charge of some amount. I notice that when I bring this nearby, it also causes repulsion on that piece of glass that I charged up positive earlier. I don't know how much this is, so what Coulomb would have said is this has a quantity of one unit, one unit of charge. But the cool part is, if I take another one of these objects, one of these glass or these um, metal spheres that's on top of a, an insulating base, and I ground this one, so this one has been touched to me, or it's been touched to the sink, or it's been physically touched to the ground, it has no charge. Now if I bring this one and this one together, and I remove them, this had one unit of charge, this had zero, but everything wants to be equal. So they would share that charge. This would now be one half, and this would be now would be one half. So now when I bring this nearby, I notice it still repels it, but not nearly as strong as a, of a repulsion as we had before. The same with this one. If I bring this nearby, it also repels it, but not nearly as strong of a repulsion as we had before. So because of that, I have a way of taking my quantity of charge and cutting it in half. And then if I took that half and touched it again, I can get one fourth and so forth. And so this is the beginning of how Coulomb would have tried to set up his Coulomb's law.